YouTube. Welcome to the most amazing top 5 where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. My name is Michael McCrudden. Sit back, subscribe and let me entertain you. First off I want to hear from you guys. What mythical creature would you want as a pet? For me it's a no brainer. I would love a leprechaun and his lucky charms. Also I'd always have someone to fix my shoes. Yeah they're really good at that. What about you guys? Is it the Loch Ness? Is it the Yeti? Let me know down below. Let's jump into our top 5 list mythical creatures that once existed. For real. In the number 5 spot we have dragons. Theories as to what inspired stories of dragons include that of giant crocodiles and dinosaur bones. But we can't call these real dragons because humans never encountered dinosaurs and crocodiles well they're just not big enough and never were. That's where Megalania comes in. An ancient relative of the Komodo dragon that terrorized the aboriginals of Australia. It grew up to lengths of up to 26 feet and weighed up to 1.9 tons. Its relative the Komodo dragon still exists today and I was lucky enough to see one at the zoo and talk about seeing something depressed. Its belly was hanging out everywhere, it hated being in captivity. It was a really a huge letdown. You know dragon. In the number 4 spot we have the Amazon women. Death by Snoo Snoo. You know what I'm talking about. You heard the tales of a female tribe of fierce women who also got wild with Hercules. The Greek historian Herodotus wrote of the fate of the Amazons saying that they were captured, overcame their captors, relocated but became shipwrecked and then fought against the Scythians but these men fell in love. The dwindling Amazons eventually agreed to marry these men and there is archaeological evidence. Ancient graves unearthed in an area that coincides with this story revealed that a good portion of the Scythian women had battle damaged bones and that they were buried with swords, bows, daggers and other staples of the warrior. So it was death by Snoo Snoo and a little bit of battle. If you don't know what Snoo Snoo is you gotta watch more Futurama. In the number 3 spot we have the Kraken. The Kraken is a colossal squid capable of tearing a wooden ship apart. Stories of the Kraken have haunted men of the sea throughout history. Now we know for a fact that giant squids they do exist. There was video footage taken deep down in the Pacific Ocean that uncovered squids that were 26 feet in length. But that's not big enough to be colossal. To find one they had to go to the southern ocean where yep there he is. This colossal squid was estimated to be 46 feet in length with a massive beak and beach eyeballs. In addition to its suckers its limbs are lined with sharp hooks that could easily cause some serious damage. There you have it. They do exist. So next time you pack your bag to go on a cruise ship I'd give that thing a little knock on the side make sure it's sturdy. Yeah those suckers are down there. In the number 2 spot we have the unicorn. The unicorn has been plastered on little girls clothes and bed sheets for years now. Well those marketing geniuses have us all thinking about horses. The original unicorn it looked a little bit different. Introducing Elasmotherium, a very large rhino like creature that roamed the open steeps and grasslands of Central Asia 125,000 years ago. What separates this from your average rhino? Well, this thing had a horn sprouting from its forehead, not from its snout. Seeing as the unicorn was mentioned by the ancient Greeks in accounts of natural history by various writers, including Stesius, Strabo, Piney the Younger, Alien, it was even mentioned in the Bible, so theorists are like, they had to have existed. Now they're thinking they were talking about this guy. That or like deformed goats and deers whose like horns grew into one. Those are the only way it could have ever happened. Or someone put like, you know, a thing on top of a horse. We can all tell that. You can see the string. In the number one spot, I'm excited about this, we have leprechauns. Okay, not really. We have hobbits. But seeing as St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, go with me on this one. Excavations of Limestone Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores uncovered a three foot tall skeleton with a skull one third the size of a normal human. Yeah, legit hobbit. Researchers discovered that the bones of nine such people, the younger of which dates back to 12,000 years ago, were all buried in and around this site and they even had tools like to detail their civilization. Little wee ones for them. Now seeing as these guys were on the other side of the globe it's a little bit of a distance from Ireland. But if just one of those tools is for the repair of shoes well then I'm convinced those are my leprechauns. Ugh. 12,000 years too late. Ok guys that's all I got for you. My name is Michael McCrudden. Thanks for watching most amazing top 5. If you haven't already it is time you subscribe. We're pumping out a new video every weekday so be sure to do that. Share it with your friends, comment, let me know what kind of top 5's you want to see in the future and what mythical creature would you want as your best friend. Yeah.
Yeti? No. Sasquatch? No. Loch Ness? No. Leprechaun, right? 